everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going to TJ Maxx and checking out what kind of home decor they have. So a lot of times I don't have the best luck at TJ Maxx with home decor. I feel like Marshalls and Home Goods are usually better with that kind of stuff, but lately I've been having a lot of luck here. So we're gonna go through and see what they got in terms of home goods and home products. And then I actually did a huge online haul of TJ Maxx like home products. So we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna show you everything I got and how I style it in my home and it'll be fun because it's going to all be able to be linked below which is cool which isn't the norm with TJ Maxx hauls and stuff like that. So let's head on into TJ Maxx and see what they got. It should be a fun video. I mean who doesn't love a nice relaxing TJ Maxx shopping haul? So yeah let's go see. Okay, so one of the first places I always start off is the kitchen section, and here I feel like you can truly just find so many unique tabletop items to display on your countertop, or just useful and unique practical items, or even items that are just great to stockpile as emergency gifts. I know in our household, we're always cutting limes, cheese, fruit, etc. so I always try to look for little cute cutting boards, just because they're always so reasonably priced, usually right around that five to $10 range. Another thing I've started getting from TJ Maxx recently are their multi-purpose sprays. They smell so good and they're only $3.99 and they look super stylish sitting out on a countertop. And I feel like TJ Maxx can actually compete with Ikea when it comes to storage solutions. There's always so many here, different shapes, different sizes, and always at really affordable prices as well. Another spot I love to check out is the little furniture section. Here you can find super cute little side tables, benches, desks, larger planters and plants. And I just feel like you can find some really unique high-end looking furniture here for really affordable prices. So it's always just fun to kind of peruse around and see if anything catches my eye. I also love that TJ Maxx always has some great solutions for elevating your plants and planters. These are great for the empty corners of our home that just need a little pop of something to add some extra visual interest. And this could be in the form of an actual raised planter or just a stool. You know, you can put a really pretty planter on top of a stool like this. This guy was actually really large and super tall. I don't think the camera really picked up on it, but I loved it. Another spot where you can find some fun items at a really great price is the home decor section. And here you can really find some unique items that help you dress up your coffee table, a console table, or just some nice shelf decor. Um, this spot is great for grabbing items to put together in little groups so your decor looks a lot more intentional or help you just find some pretty things to display on your desk or a countertop or whatever. I always like to check and see what kind of hooks and hangers they have in stock because they're always so reasonably priced and they're just a great item to have on hand to dress up a little empty section of a wall where you don't have space to put something on the ground, but if you need something to visually break up the space of the wall without taking up a bunch of it, they're a great thing to have. Another thing that I specifically find more of at TJ Maxx or Marshalls as opposed to Home Goods is wall art. And I don't know why this is. I don't know if it's just because the one in my area doesn't have a great selection or what but they usually are so cheap at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I typically don't see the same thing twice which kind of gives you the feeling that you're getting a more unique piece of art um, and they had a lot of these really pretty simple wall art sets which I thought were really cool I also find really great prices on mirrors here as well this round mirror was super big and it was only $40 which was a really great price in my opinion but I love to just kind of peruse this section and see what I can find it's almost kind of like thrifting in the sense that you don't know what you're gonna find and if you find something or see something you like you kind of got to jump on it because you'll probably never see it again also am I the only one who has an unhealthy obsession with mugs I don't know sometimes I just have to put my blinders on when I go in here because they have so many cute ones yet my shelves are bursting at the seams with mugs so I gotta keep it moving but I love seeing what kind of serverware they have here it's fun for entertaining or if you have some people over just to watch some sports or whatever it can be fun to have some of this stuff on hand so I always just like to keep an eye out 
So another section that I almost never miss is the storage section and they have so many really beautiful baskets here. You guys, this one was one of my absolute favorites I'd ever seen. I love leather details. So that was so beautiful. This I thought was really cool. It could go on maybe a front door, you know, with some flowers in it hanging off the door or it could actually be used as a magazine holder. So I felt like that was a really great price for something that was so versatile. They even had these really cool seagrass shells, which I thought would be really fun if you just wanted to add some more texture into your space, if you had more of a coastal inspired interior. I actually have these sitting upstairs in my storage room, so we will see if I end up putting them anywhere. But you guys know the little line at the checkout gets you every time. You always find these little knickknacks that you don't need, but I am going to meet you guys at home and show you all of the fun purchases that I just made. All right, everyone, so we are back home and I'm gonna show you all of the fun stuff I got and kind of how I plan to use it in my space. So this is our first piece here. And this is kind of what sparked the whole online order because I needed a really large photo frame for our bedroom. And I feel like large photo frames can be really hard to find that are good quality and inexpensive. And this guy was still $40, but that is a really great price for a 36 by 24. So I think we all have those awkward walls where they just need a big piece of artwork to kind of like take up the space and you know make a statement and this is really great for that I love the dark wood on here a lot of my picture frames in my home are lighter wood so I wanted to look for something a bit different for a master bedroom and this will be used in our master bedroom reveal which I will show you guys soon but I love how it almost has kind of like a gray wash look to it but it still looks you know worn and vintagey um, it seems to be really good quality this thing is really heavy and I'm going to blow up a photo that I took in Big Sur and then I altered it on Photoshop to make it look like it's an oil painting. So I think that's gonna look really pretty in here cause it's gonna be lots of like darker, earthier tones. This is really great if you guys have an empty wall and you don't know what to do with it and you don't wanna spend a lot of money to kind of like decorate the wall. Just get this guy for 40 bucks, slap a poster in it. You know, you can get really cheap, customizable poster size prints on Mpix. I think for a big 24 by 36 size, I paid like, I don't know, $30 for the poster. It is paper, so it's not photo paper, but that's really great for something this size and it's customizable. So if you get a photo you took at the beach or on a vacation you really like, just turn that black and white and put it in here and it'll make you really happy when you look at it and it'll look pretty in your home. So yeah, that's the frame. All right, so this next thing is one of my absolute favorite things from this order, and it is this gorgeous like faux vintage rug. And it's definitely a print. I don't know if you guys can see here, but it is 100% printed on there, but when it's all rolled out in the space, I really feel like this looks like an authentic vintage rug. I love the coloring in here. We have some like mossy green colors, a little bit of like some taupes, and then there's little, little tiny details of blue, which I just love. I got this for our master bath just because we didn't really have a runner in there and it kind of felt empty and like the floor was just kind of like gross and bare. So um, I love this because our door actually is able to open over it so it doesn't get stuck or anything like that, which I feel like is really hard to find. The padding is really great on here. Um, it's definitely super comfortable. And to me, this just looks like a really expensive vintage rug that you would find at a market. And you guys, this guy, I think for this price, it was like $25. Like it was so cheap. I'll insert what it actually was here, but it was either like somewhere in the 20 to 30 range and that's so good. We've had it out and I've been using it for a couple days now and it is super comfortable. It rolls right out. It's like flat automatically off the bat. It didn't need any flattening out or anything like that. So I'm a big fan of this guy and it was so cheap. Okay, so next I got this cute little like faux aged brass corkscrew. And I just love that kind of aged brass look on there. I feel like it looks like something you'd get from Amber Interiors. I don't know, she has a lot of um, aged brass in her stuff, which I like. I think that this is a very timeless piece. And personally, I'm just trying to upgrade our barware because we just added on a little um, bar cabinet addition to our kitchen. And I'm just trying to fill it with things that, you know, are aesthetically pleasing and make me happy and just like a really nice collection of bar items. So I'm taking my time and kind of curating that. And I saw this on there, it was $15, which 
I know that sounds kind of pricey, but it reminds me of something you could get at Williams and Sonoma or whatever, and those are like $40. So I thought this was a decent price, and you know, I do drink wine pretty often. I have like a glass with dinner or when friends come over. It's just nice to have a pretty looking corkscrew that you feel kind of like completes your bar collection, you know? All right, so this next thing I was really excited about, it was only $20. It's this really pretty kind of coffee table book. You guys know I love neutral books with really pretty bindings and just kind of books that emit like a calm, relaxing feeling. And I love the cover of this. It's so beautiful. This book is really about just eating healthy, mindful eating, mindful practices. And if you flip through it, it has really good recipes that have such great ingredients, um, you know, things that are just good for your body. It has lots of yoga poses, just things to kind of like reset your mind, refresh and, you know, live a holistic lifestyle, which I really love. I love the cover of this because you'd almost think it was like a home decor book, but um, I don't know, it just kind of emits a very calm, relaxing, spa-like feel. So um, not only is this a really beautiful book on the outside, but I love its contents on the inside. Okay, so this next thing I was just really excited to see because it was only $5. It's this super cute oven mitt and hot pad set. And for those of you who follow my channel regularly, you guys know I love to protect my countertops. We do have quartz countertops, so they're a lot more sensitive to heat than something like granite. And I just like to always have my countertops be protected when you know placing a pan out from the oven or whatever. So I like to have these handy and I hang them out on my hardware just so they're ready to go. So when you have your oven mitts and hot pads out on display it's kind of like a decor piece and when they're cute little items like this I like that so kind of fits right in as kitchen decor and a functional piece at the same time so for five dollars for the set I thought it was super cute it has kind of like this light gray stripe on there with like a beigey base and I just think these are so cute. okay so another thing I got I don't have it here yet because sometimes when you order things online from TJ Maxx they come in different packages so this was like the last thing to come and it's supposed to come later today so I will insert footage if I can but I got like this really Really cute kind of like black stitched linen-y looking pillow. Um, I I needed a little lumbar for our master bedroom that had just a touch of pattern, but nothing too crazy. Kind of something simple, organic, just like very natural looking. So I saw this one online, it was only 15 bucks. So I decided to try it out, but we'll see how it is when it comes in. Cause you know, sometimes it's hard when you can't like touch and feel fabric. So we'll see what it looks like, but um, you know, I'm excited about it. I think it's a cute little lumbar um, and for $15, that's an amazing price. So. All right, so Lord knows I don't need more pots in my home, but I saw these and I could not turn them down. Like, how cute are they? The tiny one was $9.99 and then this one was only $14.99. And then I got to the register and the lady was like, oh, did you see the really big one? And I was like, no. I mean, I looked everywhere and I didn't see a big one, so someone must have already bought it because that's it was probably only like 20 or 30 bucks, which is a steal. This kind of reminds me of that Crate and Barrel one that has those really pretty handles. It just doesn't have the handles, but it's still kind of like the same coloring and stuff. And the fact that it's so cheap and basically like half the price is a great deal. So I thought that this would be really pretty to just like, you know, maybe put a little olive plant in, a lavender plant, something maybe near our front door, like some succulents or something. I don't know. I just love the coloring of it. And I thought that it was really cute to have a set of two. I'm constantly planting like basil, rose, rosemary, cilantro, stuff like that for cooking. So I thought this was a good size to kind of put something like that in. I love having like a fresh rosemary or a lavender plant on my desk because it smells really good, especially when it's by a window and the sun hits it. So I think this one might be going on my desk, but yeah, I love these, especially for the price. Like that was such a good price. I could not turn them down. Okay. So I feel like Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Marshalls are like the best place to find stools for a good price. And I, I think I showed this in my shop with me portion, but how beautiful is this woven kind of seagrass fabric? I just thought that this would be perfect for adding like a nice texture in a space. You can never have too many stools in my personal opinion. If you guys know and you watch my channel, you're probably like, dang, she gets a stool in every haul. <laughs> but I don't know, I think they're fun to kind of layer. I've talked about on my channel doing nesting stools where you put two next to each other. I think that that kind of adds some pretty visual 
interest and this one's really unique because it's not just a wood stool it has like this pretty woven texture on it i'm not obsessed with this color wood i don't love like the reddish kind of color the orangey color so i'm thinking i might actually paint it black and i think that it would look really expensive and i only paid 20 dollars for it which is so good i feel like they have really good stools at like home goods and stuff and they're always only 20 bucks which that's a steal because stools online i mean those things are expensive so the fact that i got this for 20 bucks i was like woohoo all right, and lastly, I got this really cute little mortar and pestle. I just think this is so cute. I really like this one because of the coloring. I love like the tan marble. I think that that just looks really unique. This guy was $12.99, which is kind of expensive, but when you look for things like this on other websites, they are way more expensive. So I thought that this looked really expensive for what it was, so I was willing to pay that. And like I said, I'm just trying to upgrade our bar area. It might be nice to kind of have on hand and for decor purposes, like I said, we have that new little cabinet over there and I just think that, that it would kind of dress it up. It would be functional decor, which is my favorite kind, you guys know, so things that you could actually use and they function as decor. So I thought that this was really cute and I just decided to pick it up. So. All right, you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I always like going around to other people's TJ Maxx's, Home Goods, Marshalls, just seeing what they have in store. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, bad one, I know, I'm sorry. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please thumbs up this video and subscribe. It really helps me with my channel. And I just wanna give a big thank you to all of you guys who constantly show me support and watch my videos. You guys are seriously the best. Thank you again so much for all you guys do. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.